Hey, welcome to the FM review or testing of the Texan GR168 receiver. So if you've seen my review, you know I have a new little radio. Uh, on FM, what do I think of this receiver? It's um, halfway between the good and the bad. What you hear is VPR, the station in Vermont, about 100 miles away, 100 kilometers away. Popular game, another game that was really connected to Facebook, um, was very successful. When so as you see, it does get 107.9, and that's one of the testing frequencies that I try on any FM receiver. A bad receiver doesn't get this at all. A good receiver receives this full quieting, I mean 100%. This one is in the middle. It receives it, and you, but you have to position it correctly. Um, you can actually get a good reception of it if you position the radio correctly. So it's, you know, an average receiver on FM. It's better than I've uh, seen on other receivers, but it's not as good as other receivers that I have here. Yet, I'm happy that I can receive it. One thing is that to receive it, I have to keep the telescopic antenna totally collapsed because if I put it on you get this mismatch of FM station overloading the radio so I can't really put the antenna at all here in the big city of Montreal so I keep it collapsed and uh, it gives me reception of at least my VPR station if we tune around, because of the slight overloading, some stations that are weaker are hard to tune in on the FM portion here. Montréal. Evinjo et Greenland présent. Craftwork. Concert 3D. Le 30 mars au Metropolis. L'expérience live du concert 3D Craftwork est incomparable. Une fusion parfaite de l'audio et du visuel, enveloppée d'une sonorité impeccable et de projection. 3D. Billets en vente maintenant. Pour, pour le plaisir. Oui, on s'amuse, on s'amuse, on se montre presque qui a le page, à quoi il a pensé. Euh, C'est tout pour Circuit Macanen. Merci à tous d'avoir été là. Philippe Fémiou s'en vient dans quelques minutes. Je vous souhaite une belle journée. On se retrouve demain, sans faute, dès 8h30. Prochaine balai. Prochaine session de 10 semaines, le 14 avril. Bon rabais, fournisseur, musique, bouffe, cadeau. Comme ça, minait un peu ses efforts pour ralentir le marché. This is uh, 95.1. On va passer un autre coup de fil à la Manuvie et ça uh, avait changé de French. Euh, peu de temps après et avait remis son taux hypothécaire euh, un peu plus haut. Alors, euh, c'est pas la première, la BMO a baissé ses taux, mais pour le taux de 5 ans, c'est. Euh... Facebook. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash uot.cqut. This is CKUT, Radio Miguel, 90.3. As you see, it's closer to 93, so there's a, a little off here. It's a little off on the frequency range, and that's the case throughout all of the frequency range here. An accepted a return product it didn't even sell, or the shoe company... And finally, customer service. This is CBC Radio One. Saturday morning at 11:30, noon in Newfoundland. 88.5. So you see that it's smack on the 90. Host on Radio Noon today. Well, how far would you go to save a few dollars? Are you someone who travels? So I don't know if it's possible, but since it seems to be about equally off on the display, I was thinking of maybe opening up the radio and um, changing, maybe trying to readjust the needle here, because it because it just seems to be a bad placed needle in the frequency range. It's 12 o'clock. I'm Joanne Bailey with the CBC News from Montreal. 
Provincial police have arrested four people in connection with a fraud ring targeting bank machines. Police One thing, though, is that if you live in um, rural areas, you know, where there aren't any big stations around, this receiver is probably sensitive enough to bring in a lot of those stations from far away uh, because if it doesn't have any strong stations to overload it, it's actually going to work quite well, I think. So that's a good thing uh, for people outside of big cities. But if you're in a big city like I am and you have strong FM stations not far away, uh, I must say that this is really, really uh, a difficult radio to tune um, in, in such an area. And you got to keep the telescopic antenna um, closed. If I put it up, I uh, basically lose reception of a lot of stations, even the strong ones like this one. And banks don't usually check if I their surveillance video unless there's been a broad Put the antenna. Their best uh, now it works, but in some cases, some stations it's will actually start overloading over it and you'll well, just lose trying to silence a reception CAQ of the uh, stations. So on FM, it's a mixed bag. It, uh, I think it could be a good radio if you live in a, a, an area where there aren't many strong stations or where it's a little difficult difficult to get FM reception because you're far away. Uh, it actually might be good in those cases with the telescoping antenna, but uh, in a big city it's a mixed bag. If you uh, want to listen to local stations though, it's good. You know, I mean, it's basically an emergency radio because of the crank and the way that the power can be uh, sent to it. So in emergencies with local stations, it uh, it's actually going to work well though. So, um, and the sound quality is, is very good CAQ. because of the speaker, it's the strong and it's really good thanks to this uh, big speaker. And don't forget you got stereo through the earphones if you're listening to music and uh, sound quality through earphones is actually quite good. I've tested it and I really, really enjoyed uh, the quality of the sound there. So a it's a good radio to use. Quebec, causing road closures and, power and so this is the FM Our testing, a mixed bag, the ferry from but uh, not, you know, Jim's not the worst that I've seen. The There's a, much worse than that, when passenger but for local stations, it's okay. Ferry so I hope you enjoyed these tests, 73. On the Magdalene Islands by early afternoon. So far, the six hour trip has taken 28 hours. He says most of the 80 people on board are from the Magdalene Islands. We're used to that type of situation and everybody cope with it, you know? And if they put us on shore, myself, I cannot go home because the roads are blocked. Arsenault says the ship is fully equipped with a dining room, sleeping cabins, television, and the internet. And he says people are taking it in stride. There's no panic. The kids run around, there's a few kids on the boat, I don't know why, because they should be in school, but they're now, and they run all over the place and they enjoy themselves. <laughs> they don't mind, I guess. Arsenault is a sailor, and he says he's never seen a storm such as this one in the spring. Before it walloped the Magdalene Islands with 100 kilometer an hour winds, it dumped another 23 centimeters of snow on the Gaspé coast. Katu McKinnon, CBC News, Quebec City.